the big topic of uh, squirting. Psh, 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 psh. <laughs> squirting. We love squirting. You love squirting. Everybody fucking loves squirting. And we want to discuss about the science behind it and mm -hmm. what is squirting. What is squirting? And what we think about it and what most mm -hmm. other people think about and it. And our too. experiences. Our experiences as well. So if you're looking for tips on making someone squirt, then there are like a particular some particular things that you can do. Yes, absolutely. Trying to squirt yourself is really difficult. Yeah. Uh, mainly angle. because of the angle. Like yeah. our fingers aren't exactly long enough and it's difficult for us to get round that way. Yes. It's so much easier if you're with another person. You can try and squirt by yourself and often or not toys do help, but it might not necessarily make you squirt. That's yeah. just some people and other people don't. When you're with another person, the best way to make you squirt is that whole come hither action. Yeah. See that? Oh yeah, so like when you put your fingers mm -hmm. in the vagina mm -hmm. and you feel this sort of rough surface area on the tips of your fingers at the top. So, yeah. so the girl's lying down so the at the top. You feel it, it's like a rougher area. That's yeah. often people's G-spot area or yeah. a pleasure zone for them. Totally depends on the vagina, mm -hmm. so don't worry if that's not your pleasure zone. And it's that whole fast, hard I think pushing. First, yeah, first of all, start off slow. Mm. And then when you feel the vagina start to swell, then you start going in a lot harder. And some people feel that if they put a hand mm. just on the top, or like on the underside of the belly, sort of like just just above where your pubic area is, yes. and hold down there firmly, whilst doing that, then that can and you really some like sometimes you have to go really hard. Mm -hmm. That can make you squirt. We also remind you to keep up your fluids as well. Squirting and any kind of sexual activity makes you dehydrated and yeah. tired. So always have a drink, um, and that can help the squirt come. But if these tips don't work on you, then don't feel let down because it didn't work on me either but yes. it's definitely worked on some of my friends and don't give up if you want to squirt keep on trying you know do your research and see what works best for you every single body every single genitalia is different yeah um what works for one person might not work yeah. for you one of the other tips is just to be relaxed i mean yeah. you should be relaxed in any kind of sexual situation yeah um but make sure that you are relaxed and if you do squirt it's not going to be a big deal if you have to clear it up if it goes all over their face you know enjoy it enjoy the moment enjoy the feelings there's a bit of a debate going on about squirting Massive what is debate. it so is it piss or is it some sort of other female liquid yeah you know does it come from this gland where does it where does it store itself we we just don't know but we've done a little bit of research we for have. you guys um, and have found that the most recent research that is out there is from a book called The Journal of uh, Sexual Medicine, which yes. was published in March 2015. So this is pretty recent evidence. So in this journal, um, we had a few French scientists that had seven, six women, and they did a load of sexual related tests on them. These are women that had said to them that they squirt a lot, if not a cup full size yeah. of sexual Fluid. juices. Yeah. So they, it, for the reason, Research, they took samples of their urine mm. before having sex or sexual excitement. They took samples of the fluid that comes out, like so the squirting fluid, mm. and they also took a sample of the urine after having the sexual so, excitement. So some sort of sexual intercourse fled when the, yeah. the squirting stuff. And um, basically they found that in the squirt that they were testing that there yeah. were particles of urine in there they yes. also found that it had definitely come from the urethra which is your pee hole yeah it doesn't come from your vagina it doesn't come from anywhere in there it's a completely different area yeah. um they found that even women who had completely emptied their bladders before having some sort of sexual stimulation mm. um their bladder still filled as they were climaxing yeah. and still squirted out urine. So at yeah. the moment we found that they are looking into more research into why the bladder is creating yeah. pee just before people ejaculate. The reason why people squirt still is not clear. Yes. But there are definitely findings that kind of mean that it's pee. Yes, it does. Um, especially now that the new porn UK porn laws have come in mm -hmm. and saying things like, you know, you, you cannot piss. Sure, yeah. 
um, on camera. That's that's illegal to publish in the UK. You can yeah. still do it in your own free time. It doesn't stop you there. No. Um, but you cannot publish it in the UK. It means that that's yeah. illegal. And squirting, as well as face sitting yeah. and bull gagging, yeah, um, also been banned. is on that list. And that's because squirting has been proven to actually be pee. It also has other fluids in it though as well. It has yes. our sexual fluids in it as well. It's not just it's, pee. It, there's yeah, a load of it, chemicals and fluids in yeah. there that we've created. We've also found that the reason why, you know, say if somebody is making you squirt or if you squirt mm. yourself, um, often or not you feel like you need to pee. Yeah. And this is because this G-spot area is supposed to be right in the middle of all your wonderful sensory glands in the mm. vagina. So it's right by your pee hole, it's right by your clitoris, it's also right by yeah. your other little And also, well. like, when people are like, the techniques to make people squirt, do involve pressing on the bladder. I'm yes. sorry, they and it, do. They, they, you know, they. You are coaxing out. Yeah. The pee. Like <laughs> a lot of people, they have their finger up there. They're shoving. They like. They're doing more of an upwards thing, mm. which is obviously tickling the bladder. And also, quite a lot of people put a hand and push push on the bladder, also from above. And a lot of people so do like, say. Mm. A lot of people say, you know, relax. If you feel you need to pee, then that like yeah. you know, yeah, go along literally. with that feeling. The, you're supposed yeah. to feel like you need to pee. If it feels like it's pee, then it is pee. I mean, you have to think about it physically, right? Where else in a female body mm. is there gonna be a cup size amount of liquid other than the bladder? You know, there yeah. is no room in your body for that. But also, you know, so what if it is pee? Yeah, exactly. We're not trying to scare you and be like, oh, don't squirt, because it's wee. Um, no, squirt, because it doesn't matter that it's we. And it's fucking great. You know, it gives people a hell of a lot of pleasure. A few people out there can't even come and they squirt, yeah. just just squirt. And that feels pleasurable to them. Why yeah. would you want to stop something that no, exactly. feels great for you? And it's it's like, it's a turn on for guys. Oh, it's a turn on for girls. Like I used to fucking love lesbian squirting porn. That's all mm -hmm. I used to masturbate to. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a really, it's I hot. Mean, it's, it's basically like a, it's a visually like female ejaculation. Yes, you and know, like, we don't get the visuals. You don't, yeah, usually you don't. You can't see a female orgasm. Mm. You can see a male orgasm. Yes. So it's like our version of a visual orgasm. Yeah. We get so many different types of liquid coming out of us. Mm. So we've got female ejaculate, which is all the sort of the, the slimy mucus, the wet that we get when we're turned on, yeah. when we're stimulated. Again, yeah. you know, we don't get it all the time, but that's probably due to hormones and mentality. Yeah. Um, we also get discharge, which is a, a creamier, whiter looking liquid, which can also mix in with the juices. Yeah. Um, and that's just part of the cleaning product that your body makes anyway. Um, and then you've got squirt, which is just a large amount of liquid. And um, you can squirt a tiny little bit, so it can be a dribble just down there and you yeah. get a wet patch, or it can be fucking yeah, shot to the other side of the room. Yeah. <laughs> and again, that's yeah. hot. Yeah, some people dribble and some people like literally yeah. And it totally depends. And often or not, the only way you can squirt is if you are completely relaxed. Yeah. You know, if you think about it, if you're uptight and you're trying to pee, it's really quite difficult. Yeah. You have to really relax your muscles to pee. Mm -hmm. um, so it's the same with squirting. So our only experience is with squirting. Yes. Have you ever squirted? I have, but not with anybody else other than myself. Um, oh, really? And I squirted when I was actually using the, my very first toy on my clitoris, yeah. and I squirted that way, which is, you know, that's not normal. No, um, it's it's not. a very uncommon way to squirt, yeah. and that's when I sort of, you know, I did it maybe three times when I was younger, wow. and it was a bit like a... Oh, and you know, I I tested it as well. I tasted it. I tried it. I smelt it. It didn't smell like pee at all. So I didn't believe yeah. it was pee. Yeah. Um, but I also couldn't fathom like where the fuck else did that come from? Yeah. You know, it can't just be in my vagina somewhere. Yeah. It definitely came from a place. What about you? Have you squirted? No, I've never squirted. I think like someone's tried before. And... Yeah, we probably both had it tried yeah, to us before. And... Nothing, Nothing came out. No, and it could be, you know, subconsciously in our heads, yeah. we don't want to squirt or mm. that we, because we think it's pee, it could be that. We don't yeah. know. Um, you know, we I've definitely tried to squirt. I've been with guys that have tried to make me squirt. Yeah. And I'd love to squirt. I'd love to be able to do yeah. it, but it just doesn't come out. <laughs> yeah, I don't, like, a lot of guys say, oh, everyone can do it. They just need me to show yeah, them Yeah, I'll how. just show you um, how. It's like, but mm. I don't think, I do not think everyone can do it. I don't no. think every woman can do it. It totally depends on where you are at the time in your life and yeah. who you're with and yeah. if you're comfortable. Um, and some people, so, once they squirt once, it's like the floodgates are open exactly. and they just can't and they, stop squirting. They, they keep love doing it. it. 
Um, yeah, only definitely happened to people that we know. Yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah. uh, the only problem with squirting is that it's just a bit messy. You know, if you're yeah. fucking on a bed and you squirt everywhere, the last thing you want to have to deal with is like a wet yeah area and it to can sleep get on. properly wet. Yeah, like soaking. Yeah, it's like a good <laughs> idea to have a waterproof sh like bedding sheet underneath. Waterproof sheet, squirt. yeah, absolutely. Um, or at least put a towel down, but you don't really yeah. want to put a towel down. It's no. a bit long. We've come to the conclusion and think that squirting is completely fine, completely normal. You know, do what your body is telling you that you enjoy. If you exactly. enjoy squirting, fuck it. Yeah, Everyone it else should good. enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, if your partner enjoys it, then why the hell not? Yeah, give it a go. You know, we don't we don't want you to watch this video and think, oh my god, I don't want to pee myself. Yeah. You know, it's nothing it's nothing about that. It's like that is one of the things yeah. that your body does to express its own and it's pleasure. not all pee either yeah. scientists are still studying like why there are more there is more urine or more, more fluid mm. when you're feeling sexually excited there's like a special chemical that yeah. we produce when we are aroused yeah. don't every time you finish having sex you feel like you need the toilet a bit oh like, absolutely i always have to go to the toilet after sex gotta go pee so there's obviously something happening mm. during sex that makes more fluid in your bladder it's not just piss yeah it's not just we're not piss. saying it's just piss but it is coming from a bladder mm. so it's whatever you make of it really. well it, it's like the same deal with like some people when they orgasm they sit there and they gyrate and they enjoy it other people when they orgasm they spaz out and go completely yeah. crazy it's completely just like that it's another way of your body expressing exactly. its exactly. pleasure just enjoy what you enjoy it's it's your sexuality fuck yes. everyone else if somebody's with you and we have heard that people can squirt shame as well. Some people go like, oh, I don't, don't know about that. Tell them to fuck right off and find somebody else. We hope this has been informative for you. And um, yeah. this is just what we, the evidence that we found at the end of 2015. So if more evidence comes out about it, then we plan to do another video and yes, explain more. But squirt away, you silly fuckers. Pshh.